Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video we'll be taking a look at whether Castlevania Curse of Darkness is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. I will admit, the fast boot is not all that fast. It's faster than having to- What the hell just happened? That flashed through so many different things. Was that just checking a memory card? That was weird. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's faster than sitting through the boot up sequence, but it still ain't quick. All right, we're just going with the usual E E E E I I P. There we go. It doesn't actually look like a H. I guess I'll save the data. Create new, sure. Hmm. Okay. The moment of truth. 1476, Galatia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Cool. Whoa. Whoa, what? Whoa. What? I'm confused. I'm not sure, are there supposed to be HUD elements? Because if- Ah, oh, there we go. I'm not sure about the, the white flashing. It's whenever I look this way. Be blinded. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's full speed. Can't complain. Okay. Wow, okay. I mean... I don't know what happened. I'm lucky I managed to get out of that, to be honest. Executioner level 2. Oh god. I don't know the buttons. No, square's how we attack. X is how we jump. Oh god, I can't see. Oh, I got hit again. Ugh. I think I'd have to lean more towards not playable. Considering how well seizure inducing it can be. What is this? Memorial ticket. Oh god. Yeah, it kinda hurts my eyes to play. Am I supposed to be able to see that from all the way down here? Oh. Merman level four. Oh, I didn't stand a chance. Yeah, it seems if you uh, angle the camera a certain way. It causes textures to just flip out. I don't know why though. I can also see certain things through the floor. I don't even need to to angle the um no. Yeah, I don't even need to angle the camera. It just seems to flip out when it feels like it. Kind of a pen. Boobity boo, boobity boo. I'll go into the next room and I think that'll do. If it's just going to keep being like this, I would probably have to say it's not playable. Purely because it kind of hurts. <laughs> like, yeah, the game's full speed. But the flickering textures and everything are not great. Is this a safe room by any chance? Yes. Right, okay. This is what I mean, especially when you load into a new area, you can't see anything. There we go. Oh god, it hurts. Ooh, zombies. Skeletons, even. Yeah, I got bronze. Also seems like the light, not lighting, but... Stuff in the distance doesn't seem to render correctly. Now you can see the fog. Which I guess is supposed to mask objects in the distance, but it doesn't mask everything. Um, no, maybe they are supposed to display like that after all. Alright, well there we go. I'll just go into the next room. I think that'll do for a test though. <laughs> it kind of hurts to play. Oh. Hey, I'll quite happily kill everything. It's just, that's a shame though. Because everything about this is... playable. 
like 100%. There's been no dips whatsoever. The only thing that is an issue is the textures are all over the bloody place. Oh god. And yeah, when it happens it just kind of hurt. It just hurts to look at. I mean, if you can play, if you can play blindly then it's probably a more pleasant experience. There we go. So yeah, I would have to either say it's playable with issues if you don't mind going blind playing it, or it's not playable. I'd probably lean personally towards not playable. Just because when they happen, and they seem to happen every time you go through a transition, it's very painful. <laughs> with everything just constantly fla uh, flashing in your face. So sadly, it would seem that Castlevania Curse of Darkness is not currently playable. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.